Hey guys, Boomer here. Um, I'm taking advantage of a nice day. It's almost 50 degrees here two weeks before Christmas. Uh, working on the silver wing, and I know this is a problem that uh, silver wing owners have with the side stand. How the bike leans very far on the side stand. And a lot of people think it's normal. Uh, maybe, I don't think so. Uh, there is a reason that it leans the way it does. And there's a fix for it. That's what I'm working on now, so I'll show you. Let me swing around, don't get dizzy. All right, here's the old silver wing, and I put the white piece of paper behind it to kind of help you to see. Now, the silver wing, and you have to drop the exhaust to get the old side stand off, but the problem that you run into is that this hole right here, it wobbles out of round. Like, this is the shoulder bolt that goes through the side stand, and if you put that in, that wobbles. That should not be wobbling like that. And that's why your side stand leans so far as it does. So the fix for it, go to Napa and buy this bearing right here. 276012RSR. Get that bearing. And then what you want is only the inside of the bearing. So what I did is I took the bearing and use my grinder to cut it and pull all this stuff out because all I wanted was the inside of the bearing, the very inside of it. And what you'll do, and let me show you if I can one-handed, this shoulder bolt goes right in and fits really snug into that bearing. Okay, there's no play at all. So what you do is, and by, let me show you where the side stand is. This goes perfectly. It fits right in here. And then the shoulder bolt goes through here and goes through the bearing. And then once it's all the way in, this part of the bearing right here, the shoulder, rides inside of that center part of the bearing. And of course the threaded parts go all the way through. But what you'll do is right here you'll take a 5 8 drill bit. Now that's what I read, I haven't done it yet. But take that 5 8 drill bit and drill this out and it's almost the right size for this to fit in. So you'll have to take a rat tail file, there goes the white paper. It's still windy today, we had all that crazy wind yesterday. It was like 60 mile an hour wind gusts yesterday, tornadoes down south. Hang on a sec, <clears throat> should have taped it. All right, we're back. Technical difficulties. Anyway, drill this out five eighths, then take your rat tail file and file that out some. Then you put this in the freezer overnight, which will cause it to shrink just a little bit. Then you put it here and you press it into that hole. All right, press it in. Use a vice grip, a vice, whatever you have, C clamps, but press it into that hole that you've made bigger. Because this hole has to be made a little bit bigger for this to fit. Get that in there, and it's got to be tight. Then once this is in there, you take your side stand, slide it back up in there, put your shoulder bolt through, and there's no more back and forth wobble. Because this will take care of that. And once that's done, your bike should not lean as far as it uh, does with the problem here with this hole being wobbled out like it is. I don't know if you can see it or not, at a right angle you can see that top and bottom, uh, focus is off, top and bottom, it's uh, definitely wobbled out some. Well, if I put the shoulder bolt through the other way, look how that thing wobbles. And that's not supposed to do that. So, with this center part of that bearing in here, once you've drilled that out, your side stand will be pretty secure in here and your bike shouldn't lean as far as it does. So anyway, one more look at the, the box. There's the bearing number from Napa. That's where I got it from. And they had to order it. It's uh, generally not in stock. But they ordered it. I got it. Use my grinder. Got the center part of the bearing out. And to get the side stand off, you got to drop the exhaust because the the bolt comes out to the left. 
this way. If it came out this way, you wouldn't have to drop the exhaust, but it doesn't. It comes out this way. And I imagine there's a safety reason for it. I don't know. And you can't change it because the threaded part of the side stand is on the inside. So it has to go on this way. So in order to get this on and off, you have to take your exhaust down. Not a huge problem, only just be careful pulling the bolts out up the front of the headers. Uh, you don't want to snap the studs. Um, my advice, spray it down with some blaster. Let it sit for about 20 minutes first. Uh, but be careful not to snap those. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I'm addressing the issue of the side stand lean. And that's it. All right. I do hope this helps somebody. I hope that it helps me. Um, assuming that this uh, fix works, well, even if it doesn't, I'll give you an update. And this is really about the uh, only thing left to do on the silver wing. Anyway, one more look. There she is. That's going to get drilled out. That'll be drilled out 5 8 drill bit and then a route tail file to take it out just a little bit more. This in the freezer overnight, then press it into that hole. Once that's in, Side stand goes back on, shoulder bolt goes through, of course put the spring back on, don't forget your spring, right there, and uh, should be no more side stand wobble. Alright, bye for now.